Hey, it's Manly Parks. Welcome to another episode of the Brandywine Angler. I'm back at the Yellow Perch game. It is March 17th, 2019, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Let's see if we can catch some yellow perch. We got an incoming tide. Looks like we're gonna have most of the incoming tide to fish this afternoon. Uh, mid 40s, breezy, post cold front. Um, but hopefully these fish are still moving. We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna start off where we left off last time. We've got a double jig drop shot. We've got the chartreuse stinger. It's a little 132nd ounce ball jig with the bust and bait chartreuse stinger tail. That's a two inch tail, I believe. Here we have just a simple uh, number eight, I believe it is, Aberdeen hook with the uh, same tail on it, down to a drop shot weight and we will see what we can do. Tide's coming in very, very heavily. Looks like it's the bottom part of the incoming because there's still a lot of bank visible. So that suggests to me that there's still a good bit of incoming tide to enjoy. You wanna be fishing the moving tide in my experience in this, if you can. That's the spot right there where I was getting them last time I was here. I'm just going to hold it on that spot, see if I can pick up a fish just by holding it there. Felt like a little hit there maybe. Oh, that was definitely a hit. <laughs> that was a hit. I missed them, but it was a hit. Just flip it out there. Try going back in that spot. Something right there. It's another little thing up against the bank. I don't know what the heck that is. Little yellow perch feeding on minnows or what? I see a whole bunch of shad. That's what that is. Or herring, I mean. It's herring. It's interesting. They're all over the place here. Must be spawning or something. Wow, look at those fish. Just a boatload of them. I mean, I've caught herring up in here before, but I've never seen them in big pods like that. That's pretty neat. Let's just try switching it up for a second. Got the floating fly here and ready to go. Try that for a second. Just see if that does anything different. Sometimes they want different stuff. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish, whatever it is. What is it? Oh, it's nice. It's a crappy. It's a good one, too. All right. <laughs> All right, how about that? That's a pretty nice little crappie. Tidewater crappie there. There he is, nice 12 inch tidewater crappie. Again, just put him on the board so you can see. There he is. 
right at 12. All right, he gets to go back to swim another day. Off he goes, nice, on the float and fly. Really excellent. Well, the good news is that often where there's one crappie, there's more than one crappie. So I'm going right back in there to see if I can find if there are some others around. Because sometimes when you find them, you find them. All right, this water is pretty clear. I'm gonna try going to a much more natural looking presentation and see if that makes a difference. So put this away for a minute and go back to the drop shot and switch out these chartreuse tails for something more natural. 2.5 inch gulp. Minnow. Let's see what we got there. Real sort of supernatural looking bait. Let's see if that improves our prospects a little bit in this clear water. There's one. <laughs> Finally. Little guy. Come here, buddy. No, don't go down that hole. Don't go down in that hole. All right, well, now he's kind of dirtied up. Let's see if we can get him clean here. There we go. All right, there we have him. Little teeny tiny guy. Either spawned out female or buck. No milt though. Back she goes, or he, or whatever it is. On the gulp. Right here, close in. Well, I don't see a lot of happening here. I think I might take this show on the road somewhere because this is not getting it done. Not impressive. Got the one crappie and then a whole lot of nothing. What the heck is that? It's a giant. Really big fish down in there. Gotta go find out what it is. Got to. See right over there, that's herring up in this creek spawning. Pretty cool. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was like a little creek chub or something. Oh, there's a fish. Whoa! What do I have here? Something really going crazy. That is a trout. <laughs> that is a nice... Rainbow trout. How about that? There he is. All right, buddy. 
Let's get a video of the release. Off he goes. Nice. Okay, given the trout here, I've decided to put on this little Anisoptera soft plastic, just on a 1 64th ounce um, jig head. I'm just gonna flip it back in this current here, and see if I can pick up another trout. That was pretty cool, that last trout. I'm gonna see if I can pick up another one or some other kind of multi-species thing, who knows, some kind of little small creek chub or, I don't know, the yellow perch might even hit this thing. I don't know. I haven't seen any yellow perch, so my sense is that there aren't any of those guys in here, but we shall see. There's a fish. There's a fish, feels like a trout. I think that's another trout. <laughs> oh, he got off. That was a, that was definitely a trout. started. Uh, it's evening now. I had a real slow day trying to target the yellow perch. I uh, moved to a couple different spots trying a couple different things as you've probably seen uh, and I decided to come to this one other spot to see a little further up the creek that I fish and I wanted to see if the fish had moved up above where I've been fishing and I got a couple of fish on the float and fly and I thought what if I pulled out the old double jig drop shot and tried that. And sure enough, virtually every cast, white perch. So the right perch run is in full effect. This episode of the Brandywine Angler it was an interesting kind of multi-species affair uh, with a, a nice crappy to start and then a couple of dink yellow perch but they seem to have disappeared for the most part. Rainbow trout mixed in and then some white perch to finish so clearly the white perch run is happening. As always it's the Brandywine Angler Manly Parks. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.